Richard Childress, a NASCAR team owner with over 55 years of experience, has expressed deep disappointment with the recent ruling that revoked Austin Dillon's playoff spot. Childress, who has been a staple in the NASCAR community for decades, believes this decision will have a lasting impact on the sport, particularly regarding how races are contested in the final laps. Their ruling has changed NASCAR racing on the final lap forever, Childress said on Saturday before cup practice at Darlington Raceway. He further lamented, it's over a million dollars to us. The largest fine ever in NASCAR. I'm just disappointed, disappointed, disappointed. That's all I can say. The controversy began after Dylan's win at Richmond on August 11, where he made contact with Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin in the final turns to secure the victory. In NASCAR, a win usually guarantees a spot in the 16-driver playoff field, provided there aren't more than 16 winners in the season. However, NASCAR revoked Dylan's playoff berth, citing a rule that requires the win to be free of any violations or actions detrimental to the sport Richard Childress Racing RCR, appealed NASCAR's decision, arguing that Dylan's actions were within the bounds of racing. However, both the initial appeal on August 20 and a final appeal on August 25 were denied by a three-member NASCAR-appointed appeals board. The board, consisting of industry personnel, former drivers, and former crew chiefs, upheld NASCAR's decision. NASCAR President Steve Phelps defended the ruling, explaining that it was necessary to maintain the integrity of the sport. If we hadn't penalized it, then I think what we would see over the next 12 weeks would look significantly different, Phelps said on the Kevin Harvick's Happy Hour podcast. He emphasized that NASCAR is not a demolition derby and that allowing such moves would have led to chaos in future races. Logano and Hamlin, the drivers involved in the incident, were vocal in their criticism of Dylan's actions, describing them as intentional wrecks. Other drivers also indicated that they would not have made similar moves. Childress, however, disagreed, arguing that the contact was not egregious and questioning where the line should be drawn. The drivers now, they know where a line is, or they think they do, Childress said. He explained that slight contact in the final laps of a race is common and should not result in severe penalties. What is the line? And then if you go to racing somebody off the corner and they get loose, as Hamlin did, and get into you, then does that mean you're out of the chase? Childress has chosen to be cautious with his words, avoiding any further confrontation with NASCAR. Despite his disappointment, he stated that the team would not pursue legal action, recognizing the challenges of fighting a ruling within the sport's governing framework. If it was a legal case, we had attorneys look at both sides of it, there was no way we would have lost, Childress said, reflecting on the difficult position he and his team find themselves in this ruling, according to Childress, has set a new precedent in NASCAR, one that could change the way drivers approach the final, crucial laps of a race.